Today we're going to be looking at Do Re Mi. Uh, we've been doing a lot of this in school and um, it really helps with the sight singing because it's such a famous song. Everybody <clears throat> uh, seems to know <laughs> Do Re Mi Fa So La Ti. So the Do Re Mi scale from The Sound of Music reflects a major scale. It is a major scale. In this song it is the C major scale. But here we're going to use it on any note to create a major scale. So as you can see, I've written out C major and we're going to sing through that. And then uh, I've also written out A major, which has some slightly different notes in that we can talk about. Um, so here is the C major one. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Have a go at singing that with me. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Good. So now we're going to have a look at the A major. Now, <clears throat> hopefully you've all been watching my other videos <laughs> and this one will make sense. The reason that this one has a C sharp, an F sharp and a G sharp is because it is following the formula of our major scale, which was tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Uh, and to get that on A major, we have to have our sharps without it is a minor scale, okay? So we're gonna start from A this time <clears throat> and sing our Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, so, La, Ti, Do. It's exactly the same Formula, we are just starting from a different point in our voice and on the piano. Good, so hopefully that has helped um, understand the Do, Re, Mi scale. Now what we're going to do is we are going to learn to sing it up and down. We've been focusing on this in class and a lot of students do find it quite hard to sing it down because in the song it doesn't go down. Um, so we're going to learn to sing it up and down and then we're also going to learn to do um, different patterns with it using the same scale okay <clears throat> so here we go from c again this is the c major one because this one is nice to sing do re mi fa so la ti do do ti la so fa mi re do okay have a go at singing that a few times with me whiz it back with uh, the recording back and have a go then what we're just gonna do now we're gonna start on that top note and sing down do ti la so fa mi re do do ti la so fa mi re do and we want to do that quite a lot because it wants to become you know uh just as as memorable and and as easy as the ascending version of the scale okay so now we're going to do a pattern now this might look quite complicated what we're doing here is we are going up in thirds. Now, on our other um, video that I talked about, major and minor thirds, okay? So this is a real mix because we went through the major scale and found out that some thirds are major and some thirds are minor. So this is using all our thirds um, and we will actually go above our top, um, our top do will will continue okay so let's try this do mi re fa mi so fa la so ti la do ti re do hey 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 so that was quite complicated don't worry if you felt like that was a lot let's take it a little bit slower and really try and connect to this scale using our major and minor thirds, okay? Do, mi, re, fa, mi, so, fa, la, so, di, la, do, di, re, do. Now 
what you'll notice is we went up to that that high D ray. So it's important to remember that the scale continues past our top dough. We start again, but we are going the octave higher. And the same with the lower, which we're just going to explore as we come down the scale. Okay, so now we're going to go the other way, which is a little bit harder. <laughs> so uh, we'll take it nice and slow. And again, we've gone below our uh, scale to the next T. Okay, I'm going to do that again. You're good. So, um, take your time with that one. Really get used to it. So this is just using our do re mi in different patterns. We're going to do one more pattern to help us really try and um, get that that do re mi sort of stuck in our minds that's what these patterns are about uh, and to help these intervals as well so here we're using do re mi with the major and minor thirds we've got a pattern going up and we've got a pattern going down okay so this is our final pattern for now this one is probably um looks the most complicated but it's not too bad so we're going up the scale coming down and then starting on a different degree of the scale so when i talk about degrees uh, i'm not talking about the weather <laughs> i wish i was talking about the weather i'm talking about uh, the degrees of the scale of do re mi fa so la ti do we have eight do being one re being two mi three fa four so five la six t seven do eight so here we're starting on the first degree do then in the next bar we're starting on the second degree re in the third bar we're starting on mi which is the third degree and then finally on fa this could go on and on and on but i've just done four bars of it ending up that we hit a do in the final the top do in the final bar okay let's have a go do re mi fa so fa mi re re mi fa so la so fa mi mi fa so la ti la so fa fa so la ti do ti la fa hey 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 so have a go at that uh i'm more expecting my um, grade three and four students to be uh, getting really strong with these exercises. Uh, grade one and two, just do your best, okay? This is really tough stuff. Um, you know, uh, sight singing isn't easy at all, um, and all of you are doing absolutely amazing. So keep working hard and it will pay off, I can assure you.